YouTube, what is the deal, man? It's your boy, The Fragrance Show. I'm your humble host, Jerome Smith. And we are back, man. We are shooting a video for, I got eight fragrances for the spring night out on the town, man. That's right, you heading out on the town and, uh, you know, looking for something you want to throw on, smell good, attract the ladies, check these fragrances out. All right, stay tuned. guys welcome back into the channel man peace to everybody peace to everybody in the fragrance community new subscribers return subscribers i see y'all man i appreciate all the love on the channel uh i'm checking the subscribers man it looked like i'm probably not gonna hit, hit that goal of reaching that 5k by the end of the first quarter of this year but that's all right channel is still growing i appreciate all you guys who tune in weekly to the show. So that's right guys, we're talking eight fragrances for a nice spring night out on the town. Now, you can use these fragrances in the daytime as well, but you know, for me, I will pull these out at night, man. They're sexy, they're alluring, and they definitely are compliment getters. So, fragrance number one, I've been talking about this fragrance a lot lately. I'm finally gonna do a review on it, finally gonna get around to getting that up on the channel for y'all, and that is Aventus Green. Aventus Green, guys. This is a clone to Green Irish Tweed from the House of Creed. This one is amazing, guys. Now, some people will say Green Irish Tweed is kind of basic, um, it's kind of shower jelly, this, you know, things of that nature. And I will say it's not a unique fragrance, but it definitely um, is a solid fragrance. Um, I mean, you're not gonna smell like something somebody never smelled before, but you're gonna smell nice and you're gonna get compliments if somebody gets a whiff of you wearing this one. So this is a Ventus Green from the house of, this is from Fragrance World. All right, guys, next up on the list is Afnon Supremacy. Now, this is a clone to um, Creed um, Aventus. Now, there are so many Creed Aventus clones on the market, guys. I don't lost count. I'm pretty sure you guys have too. But this one is another clone to that. Uh, the performance is not all that great, but I will say the opening is smooth. The opening does have a little of the birchiness that people like from the older batches of Creed Aventus. And for a solid price, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. But, you know, everybody has their Creed Aventus go-to clone that they like to use. And I think this one is pretty solid as well. And actually, I just sold this bottle. <laughs> So I'm getting ready to package this one up and get it shipped out. But this one is not bad, guys. F9 Supremacy. All right, guys, if you're watching the channel, if you take a sign from it, don't forget that like, subscribe, and share button. All right, for your boy, help the channel to grow. Next fragrance up, guys, is a fragrance called Hardwood. Hardwood. Sorry if I'm keep sniffing, guys. Excuse me. It is sinus and allergy season. Sorry about that. Um, this one is called Hardwood from the House of Fragrance World. Really like this fragrance as well. Nice woody scent, nice classy scent, gentleman scent. Gonna be doing a video on this fragrance as well. Um, I picked this one up as it was part of a little small fragrance haul that I did. I don't really know too much info on it, but I'm gonna do some research on it, get a review up on the channel for y'all so you guys, you know, if you guys might wanna check it out. Hardwood from Fragrance World. All right, guys, let's keep it going. Fragrance up on the list, guys. Fragrance number four, I believe, was a fragrance that came out earlier this year or sometime late last year, and that is Club de Nuit Urban Man Elixir. I have used a lot of this juice. Sorry, this bottle is black. I'm sorry if it's not really showing up um, because of the light, but I made a nice dip in this fragrance. You have a Dior, Creed Aventus, and Baccarat Rouge combination hybrid of a fragrance really nice good for compliments longevity was good performance was actually good as well nice fragrance to be wear on a night out in the town in the spring club deep in the wheat urban man elixir all right guys next up we have a fragrance that is a clone to parfum darmali's kaylin and this is from mason alhambra a branch off the latafa tree and this is called collis now this one guys it kind of snuck up on me at first when i first sprayed it i was like man the pepper in this one this fragrance might not be for me it has black black pepper in it but 
and they're giving it some time. It's definitely a unique scent. When I did some searching on this fragrance, it is kind of low on the Parfum Darmali list of um, you know the best ones that people like, but it's not bad, guys. We're gonna be doing a review on this fragrance as well. This is Mason Alhambra Collis. Black pepper and all this has like uh, blood orange and some sweetness. I think it's Tonka Bean as well in this one. Really unique scent. Not gonna be for everybody, but you know I like it. It had to grow on me a little bit, so it definitely is a keeper. All right, guys. Sounds to our last three guys, and I want to introduce you. Uh, y'all to another black orchid clone now a lot of us love the owl our zephyron 24 gold that is a nice clone to black time force black orchid but this one is called black origami black origami this one right here guys now i will say uh the difference between this one and the 24 gold one um, is that 24 gold is a black orchid clone, but it's like with a twist. Uh, this one is just straight black orchid. There's no twist on this. This one smells exactly like the Time Forge black orchid, I will say, but the 24 gold one has better, I would say, longevity. Uh, overall longevity, that is a better option. But this one wasn't bad for five, six hours. It smells just like black orchid, guys, and it is called black origami black origami from mason alhambra all right guys that was six fragrance number seven guys this one was actually recommended to me and this is from joe milano never heard of this fragrance house before this is levante intense levante intense this is actually a invictus aqua clone so when i smelled it i got invictus aqua yes you can tell uh, from the sweetness, the freshness, uh, also has some resemblance to Versace Hawass. You know, fragrances in that uh, realm of DNA where the sweetness and, um, you know, sweetness, citrus kind of vibe going on definitely is a nice alternative to Invictus Aqua, and I believe that one is discontinued. So, if you're looking for that kind of DNA, Joe Milano, Levante, and Tense. This one on the list, I had to add this one to it, guys. Um, Man, I just got this one in the mail a couple of days ago, and it is Azoro, a new release from the house of Azoro, and that is Azoro Wanted EDP, guys. Uh, this bottle is all silver. If you remember the EDT concentration, you was able to see into the bottle and the juice was yellow. Well, this bottle is all silver, and I will say this one is gonna be a banger for spring and summer, but I gotta add it to the spring night out on the town list, guys. Of course, this one, if you smell the Zorro Wanted, it gave you vibes of Invictus by Paco Rabanne, and I can say that, but this one is much more intense, grown-up version. The first one was kind of playful, you know, for the youthful crowd. This one is definitely for the more mature man, definitely more intense, and it is fire. So, Azoro Wanted Oda Parfum Concentration. Definitely gonna be doing a video on this one real soon as well. So, guys, that was eight fragrances. If you're about to step out on the spring night, if you wanna smell good, you wanna get those compliments, man, you wanna get those heads turning, check those fragrances out. I'm pretty sure probably most of y'all have them in the collection. If you don't, they're very affordable. I got all of those fragrances off Triple Traders. You guys know if it ain't Triple Traders, it's either eBay for me, but those fragrances came from Triple Traders, all right? So, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you need more content, click on that video header up on the screen. If you wanna like, subscribe to the channel, go and do that. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace. Salute.